Now that you've posted your project to Reddit Ludobots, in this second weekly report, you're going to be filling in some of the details of your project with a set of milestones. And between now and the end of the semester, you'll be incrementing or adding in one of these milestones one after the other. So step one is to scroll down and find your project. Uh, I've created a project about evolving uh, a jumping robot. So if I click on my project, uh, you'll notice that for your project, uh, you should have received a response from WikiLudoBot. Ludo if you did not receive a response from WikiLudoBot, please email uh, Carl, the teaching assistant, and he will help you. Uh, the next step is to embed the URL which points to the wiki page created for your project uh, into the description of your project. So copy the URL, then go up to the description of your project and click edit and add the following line to your comments which is more details here and paste the URL. Once you do that, click Save, and if you look at the description of your project, uh, you've got your one or two or three sentence description about what a student would do if they implemented this project, and if they like the idea for your project, they can find the tutorial by clicking on the wiki URL. So the next step is to click on this URL, which will take you to a, a stub wiki page which includes the title of your project and the project description down here. You'll notice at the top of the wiki page uh, is the prerequisites that the student needs to do in order to carry out your project and any next steps. So for the moment, we're gonna assume that there are no next steps. So the first thing to do is to click edit, which will allow you to edit your wiki page. You'll now see that there's the next steps here. Uh, replace this text with none yet and click save page which will update your wiki page so that there are no next steps. Uh, for most of you you're going to assume that your project is going to be something that a student does after they've completed the 10 programming projects so we're going to put as a prerequisite the 10th and final programming uh, assignment. So in order to do that, we're going to replace this with a URL that points to the final project, which is uh, reddit uh, slash r slash ludobots slash wiki slash core 10. So copy this URL or write out this URL manually. And then again, edit your wiki page for your project, and replace this text with the following text. You'll notice the square brackets followed by the round brackets. Um, in the round brackets, put the, uh, put the URL that points to the project, and then in the square bra brackets, the title of that project, which was um, connecting the hill climber to the robot. Okay, so uh, this, the square brackets and the uh, round brackets are part of the markup language. And so the markup language is what you use to mark up your wiki page. If you want to learn more about the markup language, you can click on formatting help down here. It'll give you some of the markups and what they'll produce on the wiki page. And then you can hide that help again. Okay, so we've embedded this, and if we now save the page, you should see at the top prerequisites connecting the hill climber to the robot. If I click on this, it will take me to the prerequisites. So the student has to complete this before they work on your project. Okay, so now that we have a pointer that points back to the final project, we're going to go to the, the final project and put... Oh, sorry, we're going to go back to the final programming assignment and place a pointer that points forward to your project. So to do that, copy your URL for your project, go back to the Core 10 programming assignment, and you'll notice that there are a number of next 
possible steps down here. We're going to add yours as one possible next step after the student finishes the final programming assignment. Okay, you'll notice now that there are next steps on the uh, Core 10 assignment. There are two options already. We're going to add yours as an additional option that a student might follow after completing this programming assignment. So click Edit, go down to Next Step, and we're going to add yours. I'm going to add the jumping robot as a possible project after this project. So we put the square brackets, the round brackets, I put the URL that points to the wiki page describing the jumping robot, and then I describe this project, um, which is Evolve uh, Jumping Robot. Okay, if I click Save Page, let's see if I did this correctly. Uh, okay, you'll see the editing is still off, so let's go back. Uh, this option, or this option, or this option. And we need to make these all one line. Okay, let's try that. Save Page. Object manipulation is one option, uh, blind evolutionary runs is another option, and now here's my project as a potential project. So if someone finishes the Core 10 programming assignment and they want to evolve jumping robots, they click here, which takes them to your wiki page. They can go back again to Core 10, forward to your project, and so now your project is hanging off the end of the final programming assignment. Okay, next step is we need to fill in a little bit of the project details, and in here you're going to sketch out the uh, three or more milestones which will lead the student one step at a time to the ability to evolve a jumping robot. So again, we're going to edit your wiki page, scroll down to project details, and we're going to select all of the boilerplate information in here and delete it. And we're going to add a list, milestone 1, milestone 2, and milestone 3. You'll notice the asterisk next to each item. If I click on formatting help down here, it tells me that for the markup language, these uh, asterisks will give me an itemized list. Okay, hide help, and we're back to project details. Milestone one, two, and three. I save the page to make sure the formatting looks okay. All right, here's our three milestones. So let's edit the page again and describe these milestones. So milestone one is, let's add accelerometers to the quadruped robot. Okay, so if we want the running quadruped robot from the core 10 assignment to be able to jump, it needs to be able to sense its acceleration. It needs to be able to sense that it's crouching down and then is ready to jump. So milestone one is gonna be adding a new sensor to the robot. Milestone uh, three, um, or milestone two, let's imagine that this is a way to test whether the accelerometer is actually working, that you implemented it correctly. So in order to do that, in milestone two, you're going to alter the fitness function to maximize the accelerometer, accelerometer value. Okay, let's again just save and make sure the editing looks okay. All right, so in milestone two, the student, if they follow your instructions, will be able to evolve a robot that maximizes its acceleration. The fitness function, in essence, will just be fitness equals acceleration. Okay, let's break this milestone two down into two smaller bite-sized chunks. So let's edit the wiki page again and write milestone 2a, milestone 2b, milestone 2a is alter the fitness function to maximize the accelerometer value, and 2b will be alter 
the fitness function to minimize the accelerometer value. So in essence, what the student would be doing in these uh, two milestones is a sanity check to make sure that the accelerometer is actually measuring the acceleration of the robot. And to test that, we can try and evolve the, a robot to move in a way that maximizes acceleration or minimizes acceleration. Okay, so if they do, what should the student see? Well, if they implement milestone 2A correctly, they should see a robot that accelerates or moves quickly. And if they then alter the fitness function to minimize acceleration and evolve the robot again, they should see that the quadruped sits still, right? It achieves an acceleration of zero. So if they see those two results, they know that they've implemented the accelerometer correctly. So let's fill in uh, the final milestone number three, which will be uh, evolve a robot that jumps in the air as high as possible. Okay, so that's it for uh, weekly report two. I want you to show uh, myself and the, te and the teaching assistant that you've come up with, you, you have your idea, but you know how to break this idea down into a series of bite-sized chunks. Okay, there were a number of questions about these milestones. Uh, the first one is how many milestones should you have? Uh, we'd like you to see, like you to have uh, at least three milestones, but you can list as many milestones uh, as you want. So um, the best idea, is, as I've shown you, is to try and break things down into a lot of small steps that the student accomplishes one after the other. Uh, think creatively about this. So how, how best should your student creep up on the final milestone to achieve the evolution of a jumping robot in, in this case. Uh, for the final project assessment, you'll be expected to implement at least the first two of your milestones. Um, we're not gonna expect that everybody uh, achieves all of their milestones. We'll take that into account depending on, <coughs> excuse me, how many milestones uh, you outline and how difficult each milestone is. That will be something that myself and the teaching assistant will uh, assess.